How's it going team here and today I want to continue our um, God damn it Facebook. Are you kidding me? Uh, yes, go go the go the Jesus Christ Facebook Okay, let me just let me just you know what no go away. I don't care about your notifications anymore. There we go. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, today I want to finish our first uh, plugin, which is basically Crunchyroll, and to actually stream the video. So that's what we've been working towards um, the whole time, right? So we we got the scraping, we got the episodes, we got everything ready, and um, um, we got the catalog and episodes working. And now when we click, we actually do something. Uh, let me just try to remember what the hell was the uh, stuff last time. So if we click that, yeah, okay, we got the URI and okay, it actually starts downloading the data. So what we need to do now is we need to stream the data into the um, episode page, right? So in this case, what we need is um, Basically, I, I've been thinking about, you know, how to better do that. And the only way I can I could come up with was to actually start a server, the thing that I didn't want to do, uh, and to uh, provide this URL from the server to the episodes page and to put it into the video tag. So like, you know, the HTML video stuff. So I, I think we're going to use the video JS uh, package for streaming uh, because as you know it's a nicely looking video player um let me just real quick allow the javascript here um you know it's it's nicely looking player oh god that that is loud and it, it supports subtitles and everything so we can actually um, have a bunch of nice customizable bits of ui right so we want to use it now and um does it have an npm package yes it does so yarn odd uh, video js is it yeah with dot and since we're gonna use a server i'm thinking about happy maybe because you know the express kind of been um stagnating over the last few um years i mean i guess the past year or something and happy is uh way more actively developed and i think it has the native support for uh promises so it's actually um way easier to use it with the sync of weight and, and all that kind of stuff so we might as well try and use it because why the hell not right so let's go ahead and add uh, happy here and uh in this case Basically, what do we need to do? We need to make sure. So basically, whenever the plugin is called, right? So we call this get episode thing here. What it should do is should uh, start a server, then return the URI that it will use to serve this episode, and then stream the data from the YouTube DL into the um, server, basically through the server um, response and uh no it actually shouldn't start the youtube dl just just start the server and give the uri out right and then whenever the uri is requested then it should start the youtube dl and stream the res response out okay cool so here's what we're going to do uh we need a uh, hoppy here so you know what i am a bit let me just resort that real quick yes that that looks my obsessive compulsive is now satisfied. Um, happy from, so we need happy here, right? Um, let me think. So how do we start a happy? There you go. Okay, so it's the capital H here, first of all. And then in this case, uh, new server, server start. Yes, there you go. So now the question is, which part do we use? Um, let me just auto format that stuff. I um, guess we can use something like 8888. That's usually not taken, right? It's probably there, like at the, some point, we have to use some package to actually define um, or detect um, which port is free. Error starting. Uh, server so for now I'm just gonna log that and you know then we're gonna see how exactly it works so for Matt, uh, why are you not happy about that arrow parents but I thought prettier formats supposed to override that but okay I mean we'll, we'll figure that out later 
Okay, uh, so this is the server, yes, and then, yeah, there we go. So we need one root, so I don't think we need more, actually. We just need one root, right? And uh, uh, in this case, we need to construct a path from, uh, I closed the, the thing already, right? Okay, let me see. Start, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna see the episode uh, format. There we go, what do we have here? Um, let me just copy the whole damn thing. Nah, Jesus, stop. There we go. Cool. Paste it here. Um, that is completely broken. Right. Uh, we got revision. We got description, image, title, URL. Um, I get ugh, that. Why don't you just copy the object properly? Okay. Let me. You know what? I'm gonna do. Okay. Format you. And then I'm just gonna do this and then save it and then just start and see the format of the object so that we don't have to quickly close it before it downloads the whole cruncher all thing. Uh, okay, there we go, episode, okay, cool. Um, so we got that part, we got ID, I guess we can use this ID thing, right? So, which means um, this is gonna be uh, episode um, ID, right? And then we got request reply, and this is where we actually gonna work with um, YouTube DL. So this will start the server. And uh, I guess we're just gonna say that this is, uh, no, it's not gonna be a sync. It's gonna be, it's gonna just return you a promise resolve reject uh, yeah, there's one more bracket so I'm just gonna return a promise here and uh, there you go okay so in this case I'm just gonna reject with error and in this case we don't need to log anymore uh, and return and then here we need to resolve with just re I guess just resolve because we don't really care I mean, I guess we can resolve with the server URI. Yeah, that would be good because later on we're gonna change that, right? So this is gonna be the URI. And uh, once we fix that, um, episode, what are you gonna like here? Unexpected angle, yeah, that's fine. Request reply, okay, how do we pipe stuff into it? Uh, reply file. Now, can I, can I, can I, can I, is there pipe? Uh, when I need server connection, blah, 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 name pipe to bind the server, see the API reference. Okay, happy pipe response. This is what I want. I assume the API is actually not much different from, uh, what do you call it, the Express.js. Uh, response, reply response, it, it, it doesn't, See handler really you just readable wrap s um re readable wrap what is what does that do okay this is something i haven't seen yet readable uh wrap version of node blah blah, blah. okay so this is a wrap so you can just reply with the stream right okay so which means that in this case, we can do um, this and say reply DL STD out, right? Because this is what we want. And then uh, we just like, we just basically need to do that. Uh, but in this case, we actually need to tweak the YouTube DL settings. Um, we because we need to output stuff to the um, SD out now, not to the file, because this is what it does by default. Uh, there was an output, yeah, there we go. So I need to say um, YouTube DL minus O. I think the next parameter is like minus, and then you give the URI. Wait, let me just Google it minus O. Um, was it just that search std out? Come on, yeah, there you go. So basically the idea is that you can pipe it to, yeah, okay. So, and then basically we should get this stream of um, data. 
question is what format, but uh, let's try it anyway. So that theoretically should provide us with a stream of uh, episode data, which means that in this case, um, so we actually need an init function, which is going to be a sync const uh, server, which is going to be in this case a wait. Um, this init, right? So once we get the server, we set this set state. Um, wait, so we get the episodes. Yeah, I guess we need to. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that. It's gonna be this props. I guess we can just pass props here, right? Because it will be easier. There you go. And episode is gonna be location state uh, s, and then uh, gonna stay server. So and then basically episode and server log uh, render, and we're uh, gonna see episode and server. So let's see if that actually works. Um, restart the thing. Uh, theoretically, we should now see after a few seconds that the happy server is actually running. Yep, server is running at this and we got a render which says, okay, this is our um, server and this is our episode, which means that we can construct the, um, okay, so if, first of all, if no episode or no server, um, by the way, let's do it server. Now just to know you know what kind of stuff we have actually here. So if we don't have any of that, I'm just gonna say return uh, diff loading. There you go. And then um, URL. Okay. URL would be um, server and then episodes ID right. So this is our URL and I'm just gonna paste it here. So in theory, uh, wait a second, let me reformat that. There we go. In theory, we now should see that episode URL here and then we just need to integrate that into the video JS. Yep, that seems correct. So I'm, I'm kind of curious, uh, that won't work though, right? So if I open it in the browser because it's, um, it's this, no, it should work, okay, but whatever. Let's integrate the video JS. Um, let me think where is our video JS thing? There we go. Um, is there an NPM guide for that? Uh, blah, 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 Bauer NPM. Yeah, this is the NPM thing, but docs, maybe it's in docs. Let's see, uh, guides getting started. Yes, this is what I want set up. Set up? No. Where's where's wait what? That doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, that's a wrap. Great. Okay, great. That <laughs> that website seems to be broken. Um, right. I think it was from GitHub. So let's go over to the repository and have a look there. Um, there we go. Docs. That's always good. Um, guides. Getting started. Anyone? The uh, setup, yes, maybe this one. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is the way that you set it up. No, this is the tag. So I'm interested in how do you, uh, how do you include it? Um, I guess we can just try to import it. Video JS from Video JS. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. And then basically, what that means is. Uh, we need to render this video tag. Okay, I guess actually we don't really need that right now, right? Because we can just try to um, try to do it with simple video because I think it should work without uh, any issues here. I just say source. And then source actually should be that our URL that we just constructed. Type video MP4. I think it's MP4. And 
then this or should be closed and let us try that i assume it's going to break at some point berserk episode 14 uh did you mean autoplay uh, okay yeah yes i did mean autoplay render network any network okay so this is the thing and it seems to be preloading um I'm guessing preview, response, timing, waiting, request sent. Uh, okay. Wonder, wait a second. So, copy pod um, response stream. Let's see. Maybe I did something wrong. Streaming response is not documented. That sounds like a ticket we want to see. Reply stream. Okay. Um, blah, 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 reply plus stream. Mm, happy, t I had to change to now, happy 10, which version of happy do we, okay, that seems a bit confusing. I'm almost ready to switch back to um, Express, which, I mean, come on, no, it, it, has to, it has to be, it has to be usable somehow, right? I mean, come on, that's a typical use case. Um, okay, let's try to go back to Google and see real stream pipe. Okay, yeah, it seems, no, this is response. This is the express stuff, reply now. Okay, this is 18 August, 2015. That seems to be very old. Um, I mean, let's try it. Let's try passing in, um, okay, I stopped it. Let's try saying now STD out, right? So this is what we want. Because I mean, theoretically we should see uh, the response pipe coming through. Okay, let me click that. Pending. Nope, that doesn't seem to be it, uh, is it? No, it doesn't. 1.1 megabyte transferred. Um, guess we can DLSTD um, out on data. Data, so console log data to string. Uh, so just to see that it actually works. Right. Um, let me see. So I think so basically it should be okay. Where's the official docs? Happy response docs, right? So we just want to see the documentation and see what exactly it says about their API. Uh, server, um, what did we use here? We used handler, okay, um, handler. Root handler, yes, this is what I want to see. Uh, reply, reply interface. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Reply, reply continue, extensions. Reply error results, error is optional. Results, result can be set to stream. Okay, so it does accept stream in there. Okay, then. Um, now the question is maybe this doesn't uh, wait a second is that a new one or not now confused by amount of electron windows i have opened now let us see um yeah let's just, just open something like this and why is it hey we doesn't oh okay so basically um okay that's another bug i found but whatever let's just go here network doesn't seem ah now it does something for a very short duration. I think it just murdered our console. Yep, looks like it did. Okay, let us not switch from the console this time around. <coughs> um, right, okay, Berserk, episode 14. Okay, so yeah, okay, we do get the data. I guess the format is wrong, is that the thing? So if we do, um, wait a second. So I wanna see the YouTube, um, what did I close? No, 
don't care about that. So YouTube DL. Um, so maybe it outputs in some way that is not MP in some format that is not MP4 by default. Uh, format, 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 load JSON info cookies. Yeah, we'll get to that part as well. Um, verbosity, quiet, time, pretty print JSON, prefer video format output. There we go. I uh, don't load all available formats, uh, list formats of requested video. Okay, so how do we, mm, we need an episode URI, right? So log episode uh, URL. Okay, let us remove that. So we need some URL right now just to make like basically see and try it in the console and see what can actually we request. Guess, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, and copy URL, close that. So now we say YouTube DL minus F, right? Okay. Uh, extension. Uh, okay, I guess by default it just downloads all of that stuff. C format selection for all the info. Okay, let us duplicate this tab and have a look at the format selection section. Uh, format selection. By default, YouTube DL tries to download the best quality available. If you want to best quality, you don't need to pass any special options. All right, uh, navigate to examples. I'm gonna see that. You can also use a file extension. Aha, uh -huh. so I can just say, um, minus f mp4 for example right and we'll try to download the best okay so it's, it's going to be the best one but why doesn't it now i am i mean it should be so if we try running that um you make sure you're using the oh, whoops your pose flag if I just do that, maybe it doesn't download anything at all. Maybe there's a, no, okay, it does work. Okay, there we go. So we got that stream going. It's gonna take some time. Okay, um, so what if we do this, right? Oh, it outputs the, uh, no, okay, now it's gonna kill my, ah, I always forget Hyper cannot handle a lot of string data in its output, which is annoying. Okay, you know what, just die. No, it's not your day, Hyper. Um, let's go for, let, let's go back to all nice high term. Um, there we go, projects, B PGS. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanna see. And then the question, basically it outputs the same login data. I wonder if it's STD out or STD error. And this is the, this is the data. Okay, uh, so what I'm gonna do, no, I guess I guess it's STD error then, right? Because I, we didn't see it there. Mm. Now the question is why don't we see it in reply? Okay, what we can try to do is Node.js pipe. Uh, there was the piping utils that are, uh, do, 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 do. I mean, we can probably use Highland for that purpose. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, let, let's do the Highland thing, yarn odd uh, Highland. So Highland is basically law dash for um, streams. It's very helpful when you're working with stream data. And um, we are gonna use it. So import uh, from Highland. Let's call it H just to distinguish it from Lodash. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that our output is a Highland stream or uh, from, uh, whoops, STD out, right? So it's gonna be output. And the thing is that we can actually um, apply, we don't need higher order streams, we don't need consumption, we need the, um, there was something like do 
do two or something among yeah do two there we go so this actually a uh, new stream that applies some function so x and basically return x we're not going to do anything we're going to just console log x to string right just to make sure that actually we're getting something right um tan 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 come on there we go let us try that again because i mean in theory if it gets the mp4 we should be able to uh, uh, internal server error there we go something crashed already there's no info here but message an internal server error occurred uh, i guess i need to convert array to call back full each pipe maybe pipe pipe destination um, maybe maybe because it's not stream it doesn't maybe is it like this do you want me to do this you are confused that this is a highland stream okay at this point I'm almost ready to go back to ExpressJS um that seems to be again an internal error okay uh you know what let us just try using express i i'm now curious at this point if express will just work out of the box because if it will um i'm still sticking with express i mean as much as i like to try happy with its fancy new um um api that they offer I am not a fan of behavior like this. Right. I mean, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. So it's like, don't get, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, okay, let me, you know what? I'm just gonna command the whole damn thing here. And uh, just to make sure that Express is actually working, blah, 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 there we go. That's all we need. Um, so we don't need that part for that format. No, what? 139 uh, did I comment it too much yes I did this okay so express yeah and we don't even need any, any middleware here right so listen 8888 um, there was I think you could provide a callback to listen right listen and uh, yes yeah, yeah, a callback there we go so and this is what we want to do um, server running at um, wait a second where was server listen let's have a look at the API I guess this yes yeah, so it has to be a uh, like function this um whatever it was um it, no no oh come on listen uh what do we have here in examples maybe some good examples with a callback doesn't really seem so listen apply server arguments blah 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 yeah, okay uh, so, I mean, in this case, it doesn't really matter. Server running, let's just leave it at that. Um, and in this case, we're just gonna say uh, localhost 888, right? And in this case, again, it can be arrow function, doesn't matter. So, and then here, we're gonna take all of that. Um, this first is gonna be um, episodes uh, ig right so episode url um media url yes we're gonna that this this and this and then it's gonna be we don't even need output anymore because we can just say here pipe into response right come on format that stuff there we go uh to do x yes okay that looks fine now um yeah okay that looks good yarn start uh 
allow. There we go. Server running, yes. So what is actually going on? Um, app get episode. So why? Where? Where is my? Where's my stuff? What's going on? 122 bytes. That's definitely not enough. Uh, maybe it's still fetching the data there, but you know. Okay, you know what? Let's try. DL STD uh, STD error on uh, data. So because that was that was the where where the logs were, right? So let's try to string. Let's just try to log that stuff and uh, let's try to just pipe this out. Yarn start. There we go. Okay, Berserk, episode 14. Download web. Okay, so it does take quite a few minutes to actually start processing that. And there we go. So, uh, no, okay, this is still by why does it just stops? Does the video thing interrupts? Okay, I am curious now. Maybe, maybe I am misunderstanding how the, the thing works. YouTube DL, HTML video. Let me think. Um, HTML UI for YouTube DL. There we go. So we can have a look how somebody else did that already. And um, tweak that to our liking. So let's have a look at the UI actually. Cast.js. Uh, remote listener, blah, 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 session manager, video link, media. Okay, this is this seems to be some Chromecast stuff. Templates, uh, video template, there we go. Video template, blah, 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 on group. Uh, how do you play a video here? Input, download button. So this doesn't play video, it seems to be only downloading it. Am I getting that correctly? Hmm. I am curious. So I assume that it cannot stream it because the video headers are not there yet. Is that the thing? Hmm. Okay, let, let us try. Um, Highland JS. Maybe if we batch it, for example, or pre cache it, debounce. So hold off. Yeah, let's let's debounce it for five seconds or something like that. Maybe it just doesn't load enough data, and then the video says, I cannot read that. So it just starts, and it just basically turns off, right? There we go. Enable to download XML. Um, okay, there's some some errors popping up. We have to solve that later. Let's try that again. Okay, so there we go. There's our download. Here it downloads thousand frames. Wait, as it takes debounce milliseconds. Okay, so it should be five seconds. I guess that means it's working because it's still pending. That doesn't seem correct. Should have been only five seconds. Why does it wait for so long? So we did. Debounce pipe and rest, yes. Um, okay then. What the hell's going on here? 80 megabytes.
Hmm. Right. Um, that doesn't seem to be working. Debounce. Yeah, 75. Yeah, I just debounced it for five seconds. Why is it not? Okay, uh, but that stuff doesn't work, right? Because we ah, but like, okay, right. The bouncing won't actually help here. Mm. So what we need to actually investigate is HTML video streaming, right? So in this case, incomplete streaming incomplete files is what we're interested in. So one way would be to say that this is a possible alternative. Let's see, OGG format. Can YouTube DL convert formats? Subtitle, post-processing, recode video. Okay, so we can actually recode it into say OGG or WebM, which means it will actually put more strain on our um, CPU, but you know, let's give it a shot. So recode into, they were saying that if you do OGG, so it's just like that, uh, let, let us try that maybe. Maybe it's just, I think it before requires the full, um, okay, I think it should be like this, right? I think the, the uh, MP4 essentially requires the full file to play correctly. So maybe that's the reason. Let's see if I actually need to dig into this more or that maybe will work. Um, yes, let's go for this. Downloading web page, media, yes, media info manifest. Uh, okay, it just breaks the stream video. H main AAC to pipe. Okay. It doesn't seem to be encoding anything, right? Uh, right, let me let me maybe try to run it. Um, you know what we, we I think we need to find a smaller shorter um, anime because this like downloading full 20 minutes episodes is not what you want to do for testing let me think are there any of those shorts those are not shorts those are not shorts so not shorts as well um, oh man None of those are shorts as far as I believe. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Let us, um, let me think. So YouTube uh, DL, and then we should try, I guess let's try uh, without output. So let's try to just use the formatting, right? Screen FPS caching. Um, OGG, yeah, so recode um, rec video, OGG, right, is what we want. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so I download it. Okay, there's some errors. It's fine. Uh, come on. Is that, is Crunchyroll throttling bot request or something among those lines? Am I requesting too quick? <coughs> there we go okay here's the question um how does it save it mp4 part so it still saves it in mp4 <coughs> i apologize all right um i guess it's, it's gonna deco uh, like recode it after so this is the native time of the episode, right? Which means it's going to take so three minutes, seven, 21 by seven is like what, three, four minutes. 
four minutes, I guess, yeah, to download the whole thing. Um, okay, for FMPEG, FMPEG location, convert subs. Let's see if there's any option to actually stream that. Audio quality, um, mitigation option, two factor. Yeah. So you can actually even log in into things, that's really good. Maybe providing cookies would be easier for us, but we're gonna see that. Um, right, so I know that, for example, Flash can like stream properly MP4 even if it's not complete, but um, I think it's not quite the case with, um, oh, what do you call it, with um, um, HTML5 video. <coughs> All right number file system option download options buffer size skip an available fragments fragment rate rise uh, use native HLS downloader um, peg external downloader include ads playlist uh, max file size max playlist Okay, we're almost downloaded the whole thing. So let us see what is a geo restriction. Oh, it even has geo bypass integrated. So maybe we don't even need a uh, VPN integration. That is actually great. <laughs> Should have looked through that earlier. Okay, a warden error, dump user agents, list extractors, extract descriptions, default search. It might be that we cannot actually stream it, which is a bit disappointing, unless we use external player, which is something that, I mean, I don't really want, I already have one external dependency, right? So we don't really want to depend on anything else. Um, I mean, on my kind of slow-ish internet, it takes multiple minutes to download an episode. I mean, just don't think that's that critical. Um, right, let me think. <coughs> right, so other like other subs, download all the subtitles for video. Okay, sub links. Now the question is, will it download subtitles as well, or is it already like integrated into the uh, convert? Oh, okay, yeah, so it only converts it once downloaded. I assume we now have the MP4 file here. Yeah, there you go. And I assume if we take that file and actually throw it into our um, URL instead of uh, thing. So if we say, hey, this is what we want to play. I assume that's going to work just fine. Okay. Um, yep. But I guess there's no, yeah, okay, there's no subtitles here. So what we need here is, no, we don't need record video. We need, what was it, write subtitles or something? Write subtitle, not write sub, okay. This is what we want. Uh, I wonder if it will write sub after downloading the whole file. Because that would be, uh, no, uh, write sub. And then in this case, sub blank English, right? Come on, maybe I need to update it actually because I haven't done it in quite a few days. No. Um. <coughs> okay, maybe, whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, let us do list subtitles and see how exactly do you specify the format. Yeah, wait, what? Why you download them? Okay, ah, okay, it's NUS, as you, okay. NUS, right? So now I should only download the English ones? Uh, come on. <coughs> or does it fetches all the languages first? Is that what it does? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's, it, it checks for cat. Yeah, cool. So um, if we cut the subtitles now, yeah, there we go. So we got the subs. 
I think there was a um, ASS support for VideoJS, but the problem now is how the hell do we download? So I guess in this case, then we don't actually need a server, which makes our life a lot easier, at least not now before I can figure out why the hell is it not um, allow streaming. But I guess, you know, MP4 probably stores the meta information at the end of the file or something along those lines, so unless it's completed once stream anything. Um, so what we are gonna do here is add our subtitle things. Um, bleh, that is too much. So what we want is write sub, right? And uh, after that, we want to say we need sub language. And for now, we're just gonna hard code and US. And uh, later on, I think we can change that to basically make it configurable. Mm -hmm in um, format, configurable in, in user settings, right? So we don't really need the yeah, reject here anymore. Uh, blah, 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 so we can, and we can just, <clears throat> um, in this case, let me think. So now we need to generate some sort of a file name or maybe Maybe we can extract the file name from the output, which doesn't sound like a good idea. Let's just let's just generate it from episode, I guess. Um, let's see. Okay, let us run the whole thing again. I guess yeah. So like, what what basically the idea is to do for now is to save the whole episode, then uh, like show the loader once it's saving. Um, you really have it. Net, net. There we go. Okay, let me stop it. So we got ID, got revision, we got description, image, title, and URL. I guess we can <clears throat> can take this ID and uh, clean it up a bit, right? So const file name. This is going to be our example as going to be episode um, ID. And we're going to do is we're going to replace. So there's always going to be backslashes, right? We don't need those. So we can just clean them out. And uh, that should be a regular expression because we want to clean all of them out. Um, and uh, Berserk. Yeah, that looks <clears throat> No, you know what? We're gonna replace the first uh, backslash this one to nothing, and then we're gonna replace. Um, let me format this a bit. We're gonna replace the second backslash, um, which is gonna be maybe the okay. Let's let's replace all other backslashes. Let's put it this way. To um, I don't know um, equals or something. So we can distinguish the episode name and, and or maybe to minuses to just leave it consistent, I guess, right? And then we're gonna use the file name over here. Ta -da -da, data to string and uh, <clears throat> on um, close, I guess. Yeah, so we can do on close, we can resolve with file name. So I think theoretically close this thing, um, which means that this blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be file name. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and in this case, file name and this means that here we just say file name uh, where I don't even need that stuff right so um, episode URL and this is gonna be file name uh, type mp4 actually <coughs> and in theory we should get actually a working um, thing so if we start the same 14 episode it should be already downloaded Theoretically, at least. So it should start. Where is our? I I didn't mess anything up, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. 
No, it still downloads it. Oh, I guess because the file name is different. So the file is Berserk 14 uh, part. Okay, uh, I guess if we now... Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, and it downloads it to the... Um, okay, we can kill that part. We can open another window over here and go to library um, application support. Uh, PGS Electron, there we go. And um, what was it? Cache Cruncher, all right. Yeah, there we go. So we can ram this thing. Uh, we can move. Um, so we can um, actually move the downloaded file here. We can move this uh, Berserk thing into Berserk episode MP4, right? Then we can remove those parts. Okay, cool. So now <clears throat> I think if we run it and, and make it like say, hey, download now, it will basically hit the cache and should show the video player right away. Obviously, that still takes quite some time actually to hit the um, uh, to run the YouTube DL and to actually fetch all the meta information. So I guess we should store in the cache and say, "Oh, come on, really?" But you already it's already downloaded. Guess it doesn't hit the cache, which is a bit. Did I name it wrongly? N no, I didn't. Seems to be absolutely exact name. Okay, I mean, I guess let's wait a bit. So it didn't take too much. So yeah, that means that we will have to write down to the our database that episode is indeed downloaded and there is a local file. And if we don't find that local file, then uh, only then we should start the YouTube DL because it does takes quite some time to actually um, fetch all the data. So that's the idea. Right, and I will have to look around and see if we can actually do something to um, evade this and to actually stream it live because, you know, like right now it, it, it literally downloads the whole file before playing it to us, which is suboptimal. I would, I actually wanted to do uh, basically to allow user to say, hey, I just want to stream it or hey, I want to stream it and save it to disk. So like in parallel, you know, to pipe it to um, two directions, one into the our app and two into file of whatever user uh, liking, uh, like whatever the name is uh, user likes. So, okay, let us maybe while it's downloading, and close all of that stuff for now because we don't really need it. So let's see, YouTube, I uh, know we need is what um, HTML5 video uh, stream incomplete MP4. This is what I'm interested in, right? Because we're downloading, uh, ensure that move metadata is before M dot. It's also called fast start or web optimized uh, handbrake is web optimized sandbox. Okay, so maybe it's just that the videos are not web optimized, which is ugh, okay. Sure that your web server is reporting correct content type. Aha, uh -huh. that might be the case. Ensure that your web server is configured to serve byte range requests. Uh, that's also a good question if Express and Hoppy by default do that. Ensure that your observer not applying zip or deflate. That should not be happening. You can check by curl minus i video. Okay, we can do that, I guess, in the next live stream. I'm going to read a bit more about that and see um, what exactly um, can we do here. Because once again, I want to stream and save files at the same time. Right. Okay, um, progressively, yes, this is the idea okay range request range start and size kind of length uh, be fire raw data file blah 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 yeah it seems like this needs a bit more research so let's see if that works and then i'll just commit it and we'll wrap it up over here so we got a few more minutes to download we're almost there 
once again, you know, I think the streaming experience is way more uh, nicer to, like than waiting for, I don't know, whatever it takes. Like, even, even if it took, you know, only five minutes to download this episode, it's still too much. And this is in 720p or 800p, whatever it was. So it's not like 1080p that I usually watch, which would take a significantly longer. So I do want my streams. I do want my streams. Right, there we go. Uh, file not found. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, because the URI is, so it should be concatenated with our... Um, <clears throat> the the target folder right so this is what we want and we need pass join uh, target folder so actually yeah path join uh, target folder file name right yep that is not what I want path yes there we go so let us re uh, no that is yeah okay Let's see. I'm curious if it will, like, if it only hits the cache when it has the same file, uh, like file name, or if it does it even if you change the file name. Ah, cool. So this works. Now, um, we need to wrap it into video.js, right? So we have that stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna say the ID video, let's make it simple. So, and then components uh, did update, I guess. Let's do it this way. So, video GS. Um, this is going to be video. Um, and first, we actually, we need to check if the, um, yeah, I guess we can just do it with the same check, right? So, uh, in the, instead, in this case, we just break. And then we need to actually say video JS. There was an ASS support for it. Yeah, there we go. So how do I um, come on? Yarn art video. Um, was it video JS ASS right? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so video JS plugins. Uh, yes. So we need the settings here. And the source subs, okay. And then that means that subtitles, I, I closed the other window too quickly. Library, um, application support, uh, BPGS Crunchyroll. And the name is gonna be nus.ass. So we take the file name and replace .mp4 with so, I mean, this is like very, very, not very nice version. Let's put it this way. Uh, but I think for now that will work and that is sufficient. Now, um, set up, yes. Uh, all right, that doesn't work. Mm, come on. Guide set up, yes, this is what I wanna see. Uh, and wait a second, I think you should provide, okay, we do provide the subtitles. Um, it looks fine, it looks fine. Is it that the correct one? I don't remember, I used some, is, it, is that the one? No, this is the demo, yes, I wanna see the source code. Sunny Lee, is that the one from him? Yeah, it is, okay, cool, so there's the one. Good. Um, I think we should be good. Okay, so let's try that. <clears throat> Save. Yarn start. And um, if everything works, we should actually see a nicely rendered player with um, ASS subtitles. <clears throat> Now that I'm actually thinking, it might be a perfect, it's okay, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, right, okay, the styles, uh, we need to include the um, da -da 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 -da, guidelines, uh, getting video GS, getting started, yes. Okay, yeah, we need the styles, okay, 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 this is what we're missing. 
let us include it into our index. So link rel um, style sheet, href node modules, um, video.js, video dist, and uh, video.js means CSS, right? That's what we want. Okay. <clears throat> It's going to take a couple of seconds to warm up. I think we don't need anything else, right? So we might need a data setup thing as well. I don't know if it's mandatory. No, I think that's not mandatory because it, it doesn't. Uh, I probably forgot something. And I forgot class. Yeah, I forgot the class. Um, in this case, it's going to be class name, right? There we go. So we got controls preload with hey, doesn't matter for now. We don't need poster. We got the source. Okay, that looks good. Let's try that again. <clears throat> and uh, I think. There you go, that looks way nicer. But we don't really have subtitles here unless they're just gonna appear out of nowhere. Nope, we don't have subtitles. Maybe I'm missing something. So blah, 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 support, video disk, check out demo here. Uh, where's the source, example source code, there we go. So we got video JS, uh, leap sas CSS. Okay, we need CSS. Um, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's add some CSS. Mm, rel style sheet uh, href modules um, video JS ASS uh, and source and CSS. Right. So we want that. Okay, um, we need this JS file, but what is it actually? Okay, yeah, right. So since I didn't, I actually didn't even require it, right? <laughs> that was kind of stupid. Okay, so it just assumes it works in the window. Okay, I guess, I guess, I mean, I guess we can just include it globally, which is not something I want to do, but since the, because of the way it's written, yeah, let's, let's do that. So we assume that window, uh, sorry, the uh, video JS and um, libsas is global modules. Uh, video, no, come on, video, yes, JS. What? Video G, oh, okay, it's dot uh, dist. Video JS min yes we done that script and then we include the lib sas thing lib uh, no ASS yes source okay I only wait where is the demo document so include the lib ah lib sas oh come on. <laughs> Right, that is a lot. Okay, so this is uh, lib uh, lib JSS. Yes, we need CSS from here. I guess we need JS from there as well. Am I getting that right? So we need CSS from here, CSS from there. Video JS. Uh, this is the lib. Okay, so video, okay, then um, this. This is gonna be lib um, in JS, yes. And then we're gonna CSS and JS from that part, yes, we did that. Uh, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, we're gonna see if there's any, way, any better way of handling that later on, but um, should be fine. Okay, let's try that again. It's going to take a few seconds to spin up. OK. 
Come on. Okay, um, let me just turn down the volume, resize the window. That is lagging for some reason a lot. There don't seem to be any subtitles again, but there is something here and it's now super slow. Failed to fetch. Okay, so it failed to fetch. URL scheme file is not supported. Why? Oh, fetch API. It uses fetch API and fetch API cannot fetch files? No, it's just the URI is wrong, right? Uh, BPGS Crunchyroll, yeah, okay, this URL seems to be wrong. Okay, so we are, I screwed up something while putting the name of the um, subtitles. Right, okay, um, let's do it this way. Source, console, log, source, there we go. <clears throat> Let us see what exactly does it do to the um, subtitle source. Berserk. Yes, this one. Clean this just in case. Now wait for a few seconds. And yep, that doesn't seem to be correct at all. Okay, um, wow, why, I wonder why, file name, let us see, replace mp4, I mean, theoretically, I mean, it ends with mp4, right, I'm not making up things right now. Come on. <clears throat> And no, it doesn't. Okay, that is actually weird as hell. Wait, so does that mean that this video tag doesn't actually have extension? And that still works. Alrighty then, file name. File name is episode ID. Oh, because I, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's my fault. So we got that, and then we just say MP4 here. Now, this should be working. Let us see the console again. Right. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, okay, so fetch still cannot load the SAS, uh, the SS file, but the file should exist, right? So it should MP4, MP4, and this is our ASS. Yeah, so it, it is there. It's just the fetch API. I wonder if there's, if there's a way to allow for fetch to load, um, File stuff, uh, plugins. So yeah, there you go. Fetch really there, but it goes to handle issue. Another Chrome and Firefox and supports local files. Uh, oh, come on. <clears throat> so that means that basically I need somehow pay. Oh, no, that is annoying. Can I? Okay, that that seems like overkill right now. Okay, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm not gonna do that now. That's gonna take some time. I'm gonna investigate. Maybe there's a better plugin. I think my cat is hungry. Um, okay, I'm gonna kill that. And I'm gonna kill that. I'm gonna 
gonna save this and in this case I'm gonna remove the plugin stuff here so we're just gonna create the video there we go and this looks good and I think um, yeah we can kill the Express and Hoppy and we can kill Highland for now and it's okay it looks okay it looks okay so wait a second so we need a yarn um, remove Hoppy Express and Highland And we also need to remove uh, video JS ASS. There you go. Okay. So um, yeah, I definitely need some more investigation. And I think we can actually redo it in a proper way. No, we need CSS here. We don't need JavaScript here. So we can do what we can do is here is we can say import video JS from video JS, right? And then just say yeah, it's exactly what I want to do. Yarn start and uh, just to make sure everything works and then we can commit and um, end the stream today, I guess, for now. Then I, I got to dig a bit more and see how exactly we can stream that stuff properly. I, I'm guessing that if we do this with YouTube, there's probably won't be a problem because they already encode their stuff in a, a web compiled uh, format, right? Okay, this looks good. Cool. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna save that and say git commit at basic video playback. No streaming yet. Right. Uh, by the way, yeah, if you somehow know how I can make the streaming work, please do let me know in the comments. I will be happy to, you know, if someone gives me a tip or a hint or maybe even send a pull request on that because I honestly uh, did not work with video so much. So I don't really have uh, too much understanding of what the hell is going on here. But yeah, um, I guess that will be it. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, I see you next time. Bye.